Hello students, in uh, subject wireless mobile communication, you need first introduction to the wireless uh, communication. Uh, today we will see uh, related to the cell architecture of the mobile communication and it is the heart of we can say the mobile communication. Cellular system to cover the geographical area and it, it is known means also it is the architecture of whatever the mobile communication um, uh, uh, is takes place from the base station to the we can say the uh, another uh, means mobile subscriber to the another mobile subscriber. Um, in this diagram a cell is a geographical um, uh, area that is covered by a single base station in a cellular network uh, and in each cell there is a base station there is a, a mobile station and that cell is uh, as shown in a uh, figure it is the hexagonal type. These base stations are connected um, wired with the MSC that is the um, main station we can say mobile switching center and that mobile switching center is connected to the public sustainable network. So, this is the architecture of the um, of the we can say uh, cellular system and um, we are we are thinking about uh, more about the um, uh, geographical area covered by the cellular uh, system and that is the hexagonal and why that particular that we will see what is cell cell is a geographic area that is covered by single base station in a cellular network um, under single base station there is area occupied and that particular area uh, under that particular single base station is known as the uh, um, uh, cell. Uh, as we know that means uh, mobile phone is also known as the cell phone and why it is known as the cell phone because of only uh, whatever the geographical area occupied by uh, one particular base station is known as a cell. A network for wireless communication is comprised, uh, comprised of a large number of base stations to the efficiently use of the radio spectrum to cover the service area. Now, all the area uh, uh, will not be co covered by the we can say one particular base station. So, number of base stations are there and number of geographical area are connected with the respective base stations. So, geographically separated frequencies may be um, reused many times. So, frequency reuse is one of the concept and that we will see afterwards, but uh, only you keep in mind that the um, adjacent cells are there, they are going to use the different frequency uh, bands and uh, um, uh, we can reuse the um, whatever the frequency is used in the cell for the further uh, we can say cell uh, and that is uh, nothing but the frequency uh, reuse. Um, uh, why hexagonal? Uh, geographical area always uh, taken as a hexagonal and why it is particularly hexagonal because uh, if, if you see that the different uh, shapes of the areas if you take into consideration like the uh, circle, uh, circle made together but some part of the circles may be common that is the one thing also in case of uh, another thing uh, it, it, it may happen. Uh, one thing we have to keep in mind that the from the center towards the periphery of the hexagon whatever the required distance is we can say same in all the way also there is no any um, um, area which is um, uh, which is overlapped or um, uh, kept vacant. So, that is one of the advantage of the um, coverage we can say the uh, hexagon. Three possible choices of the shape that is square, equilateral, triangular and hexagon. For given distance between the center of the polygon uh, and its uh, farthest perimeter, uh, perimeter points, the hexagon has a largest area of the three. So, hexagon will cover the largest area in three different uh, geometries they have shown related to the square, triangle and the um, uh, hexagon. Thus, by using the hexagon geometry, the fewest number of cells can cover the geographical region and it closely approximates the circle. So, uh, better is the closely approximation of the circle and uh, we can say uh, for the distance between the center to the polygon, it is a farthest perimeter points. 
and that is why hexagon is um, used at all times. Uh, hexagon cellular geometry offers the best possible non overlapped cell radio coverage. Multiple hexagons can be arranged next to each other. The hexagons cover the large area as compared to the square as well as the triangular, uh, simplifies the planning and design of the cellular system. Uh, so many means in case of the design and the planning of the um, cellular system, so many, so many parameters comes in picture and these particular parameters are um, designed on the paper first and it simplifies means hexagon uh, geometry simplifies that particular part and it, it is more advantageous in this particular case. Uh, cellular system that solves the problem of the spectral congestion and the user capacity we can say. Um, why this particular thing that is solves the problem of the spectral congestion that is we can say the uh, number of uh, subscribers in one particular base station, how many subscribers that is nothing but if the number exceeds than a particular thing then the spectral congestion will be there. So, capacity is one of the point in this offer very high capacity in limited spectrum without major technological changes. Um, uh, this, this is also uh, related to the uh, cellular system, why cellular only we are going to use. Reuse of the radio channels in different cells, um, means I, uh, as I told you that the different cells are there, adjacent cells, we uh, uh, are not going to use the uh, same uh, uh, band of frequencies, but the farthest cells can be used uh, uh, whatever the frequencies are uh, replicable or we can say the um, they can use uh, uh, reuse of the uh, frequencies will be there. Enable a fixed number of channels to serve the arbitrarily large number of users by re reusing the channel throughout the coverage of the region. Thank you 